I'm Matt Willis, public health officer from Marin County with a COVID-19 update about long COVID. We're still learning a lot about long COVID. And I'd like to share findings from an important study published last month in the New England Journal of Medicine and explain what it might mean for us in Marin. The study was one of the largest ever on this topic and included just over 5 million American veterans. The VA researchers looked across three different phases of the pandemic over about two years. The pre-Delta era, which is also the pre-vaccine period in 2020, and then through the Delta and Omicron waves through 2021. Remember, long COVID is defined as a condition that follows and is caused by COVID-19 infection that is present for at least three months with symptoms that can be ongoing or relapsing, meaning symptoms can resolve and then return. Symptoms can include fatigue, shortness of breath, brain fog, muscle and joint problems, and even cardiovascular issues. The fact that this definition is so broad shows that we're still in the early stages of really understanding long COVID and the specific physiologic causes and effects. The case definition, diagnostic tests, and treatments for long COVID will continue to evolve through ongoing research. This study reinforced known risk factors for developing long COVID. People with severe illness, especially hospitalization and ICU level care are at highest risk. And older adults are more likely to develop long COVID, although it can affect people of all ages and even impact people with mild symptoms. The study also helped answer the question of about what fraction of people after initial infection go on to develop long COVID. And the answer seems to be depend strongly on whether you've been vaccinated. They found in, in the first phase of the pandemic, in that 2020 period, before anyone was vaccinated, about 10% of cases developed long COVID. When vaccines became available in late 2020, here's what they saw. While the number of people who developed long COVID dropped slightly in all groups across time, vaccinated people had about half the rate of long COVID compared to people who had not received the vaccine. And this was true in both the Delta and Omicron waves. Or put another way, being unvaccinated seemed to double the risk of long COVID. This might seem like common sense because we know vaccination helps prime our immune system to fight off the virus, which limits severity and risk of long-term damage. But it's helpful to see this benefit quantified in a large study like this. So let's try to apply this to our community. Here's some simple math. Let's assume as a thought experiment that there was no vaccine. From the VA study, we think about 10% of folks with infection would develop long COVID. In our county of about 250,000 people, that would be about 25,000 cases or one in 10 of long COVID if everyone was infected once. Now let's go closer to the real world where we have vaccines and imagine everyone is vaccinated. If the vaccine cuts long COVID risk in half, that number drops from 25,000 cases to about 12,500 cases of long COVID in our community. And remember, that's just among people who are infected. We know the vaccine also helps prevent infections in the first place. So this, if anything, is an underestimate of the benefit of vaccine regarding long COVID. This is obviously a major simplification and it's impossible to know the exact numbers in our community. But I'm trying to illustrate the point that in a community with high vaccination rates like Marin, where 95% of us have been vaccinated, we've prevented thousands of cases of long COVID. And for us together, this means less overall disability, fewer missed days of work or school, less burden on our healthcare system, and a community that's healthier as a whole long-term. In public health, we focus on our collective well-being as much as our individual health. And it's important to see that prevention of disease benefits all of us directly and indirectly. As we face the current summer surge in COVID-19 cases, this information is more relevant than ever. The new fall vaccine formulation that's designed to match the currently circulating strains is on the horizon. As you consider vaccination, consider this. We know COVID vaccines protect against acute illness, hospitalization, and death. But this recent VA study reaffirms that the, the dividends of being vaccinated extend far beyond that and help prevent the chronic condition of long COVID that can disrupt lives for months or even years. Let's continue to work together to keep our community healthy. Thank you for doing your part.